Well, hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about purpose in life. You know, most of us, when we face a new year, start thinking about the New Year resolutions. I've found that I made a lot of rev re resolutions, and most of them were like a revolution. <laughs> I, I really had a tough time keeping them, and uh, I decided that what I need to look for is what's my purpose in life, and with God's help, try to pursue that. There is a scripture, Psalm 27, verse 11, that says, Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path. That's pretty good on a couple points. One of them says, teach me your way. Actually, if you think about it, God has good plans for us, and his ways are really smart. They would work out better for us, and they would accomplish the things he has for us to do in life. And then he says, lead me in a smooth path. I'm glad they added that because sometimes in my life I've had rough path. Have you? I mean, has things gone sometimes not the way you want them to go and sometimes it was not easy? Well, that's probably most of us. But the truth is that God has a plan for you. In fact, he has a plan or purpose for every person. He knows you. He knows you by name. And although I think a lot of people go through life without ever thinking about it, the truth is that their lack of awareness doesn't change the fact that God put you and put me here to fulfill a purpose. We're not here by accident. You know, we didn't arrive in 2014 living wherever you do and where I do just by chance. We're here because God put us here. And he put us here for a reason. So that we could come to know him. That's one purpose, is to know him in a very personal way. And second, he wants us to live in such a way that brings glory to his name. Let me try to make it simple. If you're a parent, or if you're a child, that covers most of us, then I'd have to say all of us understand there's a relationship between a parent and a child. Most parents, at least most of us, we love our children, and we want our children to do well in life. If you're a child and you don't have kids yet, uh, life is easier for you right now, but I want you to know your parent undoubtedly cares whether you accomplish good things in your life or not, and whether you're going the right way or not, whether your path is smooth. When I was young, my mother taught me that it would be better for me if I would listen to her because her plans for me were actually positive. She, she wanted me to have purpose in my life. I can still remember the day I decided to lip off at my mom and tell her I was going to do what I wanted to do. And uh, about a half a minute later, I was on my f back on the floor. My mom was sitting on me, and she said, I brought you into this world, and I can take you out. You need to submit to me. And I finally had to admit, yes, Mom. Now, I was much younger, but I never forgot the lesson. That's many, many years ago. There is a a catechism that some teach. It says the chief end or purpose of man is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. Some of you might think that you know when you go to church, it's all negative. Don't do this. Don't do that. Well, there's some don'ts. Most of the don'ts are don't do something stupid and don't do something that hurts yourself or hurts someone else. But there's a lot of do's, a lot of positive things for us. And one of them is to enjoy God forever. Let me tell you how to enjoy God. Seek to know him in his word, the Bible. Number two, when he tells you to do something in the Bible, do it. When he says don't do it, don't do it. The next thing you know, when you disobey God, you may find yourself on your back, on the floor, and God might be just saying to you, hey, you need to submit to me because my plans for you are better. God not only has a good purpose for your life and for mine even, he also has a plan for all of us together. So don't wander through life and through this year of 2014 without purpose or without direction. Pray. Ask God to reveal his will for you and learn to follow him. You'll be glad you did it. God bless you. Have a great day.